got me. What is it? She got me spending. Spending all my money, honey. I need a time from What is this? <laughs> some, some sus. What, what is this? Yeah, y'all, y'all G boys. Check it out. I've tried to spread this crazy. Yes, yes. 22.1. Uh. 22. Two, two, boom. Oh, what you want to do? All right, I'll, I'll go because I'm the best freestyler here. Yeah, chilling in the living room. And it's this, you really need a broom. Uh, room, 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 and a Ferrari. I mean, a Lambo. Vroom, vroom. Hold up, what you going to do? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, and I'm chilling with Orlando. Yeah. I mean, Rondo. That's like Rondo Rusi with no. <laughs> p- oh. No. That boy went back. Hey, turn back up. Let me, uh, that boy let me went get, back. Let me back uh, on the beat. Back yeah. on the beat. Uh, and I'm back Got on the beat. You're beating on your meat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what did you say? You feel it on your meat. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> what is she? Uh, uh, Yo, baby girl looking at me. Uh, yeah. You think I'm so nice? Yeah. Like Ice Spice. What? But I'm nice. Yes. And I bring that rock knife. Whoa, whoa. Rockly, rockly. Um, way. Gotta hit that it on Lee. Yeah. Throw that pokey ball. Wait. Yeah. Let me get Wait. Wait, wait, baby, go lay. Yeah. Right on the side of the bay. No. Man, they came back from LA. Oh, man, they love man, it. Man, see a D on my D. Okay. <laughs> they love it. Now I got J's on my feet. Yeah, make some noise for Jeffro. Man, y'all know me. Jeffro, R A D. That's my handle, I. That's my handle, I G. Yeah. Man, you know who I'm with. Huh. That homeboy, Sweet P. Uh huh. Got Thomas over there. Thomas. Hey. Got Joel on my left. Ooh. Man, y'all know we the best. Uh. Man, y'all know we don't rest. All day working, all grind. Yeah. Man, you know I spend time yeah. on the things that I like in my life. Yeah. And my name, I don't know, I'm on the ice. Uh, you yeah. know how I'm chaining my ice. <laughs> you know I don't run no Hey, y'all make some room for yeah, Y'all make some room for Magoo Goo. Let's go, Magoo Goo. Hey. Let the beat drop. Let the beat drop. Hey. Okay, okay. Yeah. You can't hear me on the mic. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We know going to ride all day. Ride uh-huh. day. Hot pot one time for your boy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Two time, three time for your boy. Uh-huh. I ain't playing man no more. Uh-huh. You know what the time it is. Uh-huh. What time? You know what time it is. What's the time? I can't rap. Yeah. I'm a sap. But he's not a game fap. Uh-huh. Hey, uh-huh. hey. Yeah, let me get back off, on, on the rap. Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm getting back right on the rap. Yeah, yeah, let me rap. Uh, uh. Yeah, put you in a Christmas box. Then I go, pat. Yeah, pat, pat. pat. Yeah, pat. Still pat. happy. Uh, yeah, running 100 Whack. meter dash. Uh. Now they say I'm so fast. Yes. Dang, that boy so fast. Flash. Where did I go to <laughs> rap? Flash. Now I gotta go to the app. What? Open it up on my go, map. Go, go. pull yeah. it up. Go. I'm on my map. Thank yeah. you, K. Man, I'm lost for direction. Got our bartender, K. Lou. Uh. Hey, shout and out to Kaylu in the building. Hey. Cheers to my brothers. Cheers to the mothers. Cheers, Cheers to, to the mothers. mothers. Cheers to the mothers. Hey. Cheers to everybody. Hey. Uh, uh. Yeah. R.A.D. All right, one shot. All right, everybody take that yes, shot. Yes, yes, we are back. Mm. Man. Oh, that thing tastes good. Ooh. About to have a good practice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cremas. Hey, y'all, make some, y'all make some noise for Cremas one time. Hey. Hey. Make some noise for Kaylu. He in the shot. Kaylu is in the building. Make some noise for Kaylu. Yes, yes. The one and only. If y'all didn't know, K, K- Lou was the one that got us in the breaking. Yeah. So it was a, little, a little history. Hey, hey K Lou, uh, show up right between. Hey, uh, Coming to the um, shot one time. Yeah, for between like. Y'all make some effing oh, noise for Kenny. Yeah. Hey, turn it up, turn it up. Ah. K Lou's in the building. Hey, wait, K Lou, come Lewis. over here real quick. Come over here real quick. That's, that's the true King Lewis. Hey, King Lewis. In hey, the let, building, King hey, Louis. Let, let these guys the know building, you, the who your name is, and uh, you, are you gonna be making a return? Um, Red Bull King. We need to know. We need to know. Yeah, we need to know. We need Red Bull King. Yeah, I, I got you, Kenny. On some intro, y'all introduce me. K. Lou, oh. the one and only. The one King and only. Lou, y'all make some the first. fucking noise. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. The hardest intro ever. Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Man. All the love. Yeah. All right, y'all quiet down for y'all quiet down for K. Lou, man. Hey, y'all, appreciate, appreciate it. it. You no, know I'm saying, hey, it's good to have you here, man. That man came two hours late, but <laughs> you know, but I came with a drink, so you know you, you can't know. wait. This is wait, what is what? All right, Quinny, uh, K- hey, Kenny, we need we need to know the the people want some answers, man. Are are we gonna see K. Lou back in the cipher scene? Oh yeah. man, you're gonna see a little bit of something come through. I don't want to put out too much for y'all, but y'all gonna see something. Oh, K. Lou, twenty four. Can, can we expect Red Bull Kenny to come back? Oh, oh, it's about to be a new form. Mm. It's gonna be a new form. Okay, okay. So wait for the for the ultimate Gohan comeback. Okay. okay. Oh, the, the best. I love it. Is, is, is Caleb gonna make his return next year? Is, is that? What we're... Wait, when, when can we expect the return? Yes. You know, 
next year is is what we talking about. Now, you know, I'm trying to keep this low key, but you know, next no, no, year, no, 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 that's it, that's it. Next year that's we 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 plan some. Mm. Y'all make some noise. Hey, hey. That's K. Louis in the building, y'all. K. Louis, King Louis, yeah, King so. Louis. Oh yeah, the world is about to tilt next week, next yeah. Friday. The world is gonna tilt, so y'all better be ready. Mm. We, we got a lot going on. One time for your boy. We got shows coming up. Two time for your boy. We got we got a lot happening, so Three y'all better watch out. We got a lot of work happening in the community, man. We have a whole resource hub for the community right here. Well, yeah, one more round of applause for, for Kaylu. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gunshot. Yes, yes. All right, Kaylu, you got you got to leave with this freestyle. You got to freestyle one time before you dip. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let, let's test. Goosey. Let's tell. Let's test the tilt. I'm Goosey. Kaylu wanna be. I'm Goosey. Hey Lou, hey Lou, what it do, man? You know I'm feeling goosey when I come through the hood and not all them girls they loosey, cause uh, you know I'm feeling juicy. Yeah. So let's go make a trucey yeah. and we sitting in my two seat while we riding around loosey. Oh, uh, uh that's that dome. rock all day for y'all. If y'all don't know, then y'all better know we about to go and ball. Man, yes. all these people fall like it's just another season. Uh. Man, we be the best. Ain't no other. T- Easy. Uh, why you do that? There. <laughs> why you do that? <laughs> hey, so y'all, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Y'all already know what it is. Hey, give it up for that boy K. Lewski hey. one more time. King Louie, the first. The first. Hey, Louie, man. That was a great appearance right there. That was special, amazing. special guest appearance. Hey, I, I don't know why you had to cuss on him, though. That was ridiculous. <laughs> hey, K. Lou got us into breaking, man. Um, if y'all don't know, um, this is the one, one beat hitter, man. This is the guy who. Um, Leave no beat untouched. Yeah. Mm. This is the masterful, mm. like, dancer. So, hey, you know what's kind of crazy? I always forget about, but me and Kenny were roommates for like six years. <laughs> <laughs> was it really that long? Yeah, yeah, it was a long time. Yeah, no, that's, hey, that's, that's longer than I lived in my house. Yeah. It's actually dang. longer than I lived in Austin. Dang. Dang. That's crazy. Yeah, take, take it way back. Y'all are brothers. All right, going into a bracket. Yeah, remember the brother? Yeah, remember the brother? Uh, the brother Bond? The brother Bond. Hey. No, we're going to skip What that. brother Bond? You're talking we're about the that. We're going to skip Facebook. that. Facebook. <laughs> 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 all right, look, 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 look. Moving on. Forget it, forget yeah. it, forget it. All right, all right, next up, next up. All right, up. so we're going to go into the WDSF <laughs> bracket. Uh, shout out to B-Boy Victor. He had just taken the championship and yes, is yes. <laughs> going into the Olympic. <laughs> Turn yeah, us up, up. Joel. Turn us up. To, yeah, he, he deserves his clap. Directly to Paris. Yeah, directly to Paris. That uh, must be a good feeling, knowing that you don't uh, have to real. do any of these other competitions anymore. Also, like I feel like there's definitely a, it's like, you know, one obviously like that man did amazing, but then also with timing of it all, to be the first, you know, that's yeah. that's got to be some crazy Historical. history right there. Yeah, you know, like everybody wants to go, but then also be the first to be able to go. That's yeah. just like, that's never going to change. It's so crazy. so yeah. does he actually have a confirmed first spot of anyone that's going to be an Olympic? In, in the U.S. US. From the U.S. Oh, oh, from Danny US. Dan, I think Danny Dan was the first one yeah. ever. There, there's I, a, think so. I think there's a, a, a guy from, from uh, Africa. From the Africa. He's the one that secured uh, the first spot? I mm. believe so. Mm. Uh, I do vaguely remember that. So, so how do you feel about that, Joe? How do you feel about that? Man, Victor, he's like, like no doubt, probably like the best, one of the best B-boys on the planet, so for real, I don't think yeah. anybody has a problem with him making it to Paris. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't think anybody. Yeah, yeah, for real. So, uh, yeah, but I've cool. seen a lot of it's good cool. feedback. But, 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 I, but I will say that the that bracket was a little suspicious. Suspicious. <clears throat> was it suspicious? No, hey, t- tell us, I don't, I don't tell think. Us bracket, I, don't think I don't think it was suspicious. I think. But I, would, I, call, I, would, I called it. I called it. I, was I would like, say, I mean, Victor, I would, he definitely had a lot of leeway. Because, like, I, I, I want to know who's say, on it because I, I, I haven't had a chance to catch it yet. All right, so. all right, all right. So, so before you get into it, Thomas, all right. So, the bracket, they had done a uh, round robin uh, top 16, right? Mm-hmm. And um, these are the B boys that we had in group A. So, you know, round robin, you get paired within a group. And if you win in your group, you advance, right? Right. So, uh, group A, it has Sugar Kicks, Khalil. Alvin, Lil Zoo. Group B. Solid. Yeah. Um, group B, Phil Wizard, uh, Lightning, Matita, and Quake. Okay. Y'all have any problems with nah. what I said mm-hmm. so far? All right. Um, group C, Minnow, Mighty Jim, uh, Kuzia, and Leggett. Mm-hmm. That's a tough one. Still good. Um, and then Group D, we had Daniel, Victor, Lucy Sky, Kid Crime. That's a good one. 
I, I could I guess I could see like in terms of like it, like maybe the the comparison between like the best of the group and the like worst. Yeah. I, there's probably more gap in Vix. Yeah. How, how so? For uh, what, so like, you said it see. was it was Victor, Lucy so, Sky. So, yeah. So in Victor's bracket, Group D, it was Daniel, Victor, Lucy Sky, Kid Karam. Who, who who else made it uh, other than Vic from that group? Um, from the two, the Karam or Karam, Lucy. Kid Karam, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Which is crazy because the thing is, I like Kid Karam and Lucy. They're like I would say pretty close. They they both compete mm-hmm. in and they get a high placement. But in that Every bracket, year. do you think uh, Victor was the best one? Yeah, for I sure. Say, I would say Victor. Yeah, not even a question. So, yeah. so in Group C, who do you think is the best one? Menno, Mighty Jim, Kuzia, or Leggett? Probably Menno. Kuzia in terms of like how like how he's been doing with all those Olymp- Olympic qualifiers, or Leggett. Kuzia. Are we saying as a collective or? No, I'm, just, I'm just saying best best b boy like uh, of, just in that like, bracket uh, of everything. Just in general, or, or, and I, and or and for sure, Menno is going. I say of all of all accolades. Or a college, high well, well j- just within that bracket, I'm just thinking, C. or I guess I'm thinking more about like based off of Olympic qualifiers. Like what's been going on right now? Kuzia, Kuzia, he's been doing really yeah. well. Yeah, I think Menno would be my pick. Yeah, in, I would, in, in I group would pick C. Menno for group sure. C. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who made it out, but all right, Group B, Group B, a Phil Wizard, Lightning, Matita, Quake. Yeah, for sure, Phil and Lightning, which is who ended up moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, a good, that's a good group. Yeah, that's a good group. And then Group A. Sugar Kicks, Khalil, Alvin, Lozu. That's a Sugar good Kicks one. for sure. That's a stack. Sh- Sugar one. Kicks, but then Sugar Kicks the best one in that group, I think. That, yeah, but then you also got Lil Zoo. Yeah, you got Lil Zoo. Yeah, that one's tough. And who else? Who else was there? Um, Khalil. Khalil's good too. Man, Those, I, that's that's a. I feel, group. I feel like I would give it to Lil Zoo, but didn't Alvin beat him? Or maybe that's round robin, so I don't even know who moved um, on. This, no, Al, Al, Alvin, 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 yeah, that, that was round robin, but uh, Alvin moved on. All right, so so Alvin moved on. Yeah, so mm-hmm. now now we're gonna go into the top eight bracket for the B boys. So top eight. On the left side, right? Left side we have Phil Wizard versus Minnow. That's mm-hmm. round. That, that's battle A or mm-hmm. first round. Uh, round two, Kid Karam versus Sugar Kicks. Okay. Yeah. Um, now on the right side of the bracket, we have Alvin versus Victor, and then Mighty Jim versus Lightning. I can definitely see like <laughs> the gap with that. Like you could just tell, like because wait, Phil Wizard, Menno, Kid Karam, and Sugar Kicks all on the left side of the bracket. Yeah, I think I have a problem with that. Like you got two. Well, I, you got I, I feel like for each. For each battle, you could tell who who would move on to the top four, well, and like, then it was that. Well, four. I mean, look so, look at look at the, these people were competing at the highest level during this whole Olympics. Yeah, you got qualifying. two. You got at least two Red Bull winners on that side. You got you got Menno. I mean, but if you move one to the other side, then you have two Red Bull winners on the other side. But you only have one on the other side too. But if you move one of them, <laughs> they'll make two and one. Two, but, but that's the thing. No, it'd be but two and two. Is, but yeah, no. yeah, because you have Sugar Kicks, you you got Wizard. On one side. So yeah. you got Sugar Kicks and Menno. They both won. Yeah, but if it was yeah. Sugar Kicks and Victor and then Menno on the other side, but who's on the other side? Is Victor? I don't know. It's, Vic, it's, it's Alvin versus Victor and Mighty Jim and Lightning. Yeah. So if you move one over, it's going to yeah. be the same. It's, I, I, but that's I, the thing. I, somebody's going to have. I, I the same. But, that, but that's the thing, though. It 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 only happened with Victor and not the other one. No, but if I think in the sense of like the top eight. The like it's pretty even, other than like the addition of Menno, like on the left side. Like let, let's say on versus Victor and Alvin, you I, like I would have seen Victor won, and he did. Yeah. And then Lightning and Mighty Jim, Lightning. That's who I'd give put yeah. my money on, and he won. So it's kind of like you see who who would take those two. From the other mm-hmm. ones though, if it's Sugar Kicks versus Kick Minnow? Karam, is it Menno? Sugar Kicks. Uh, it's um. Sugar Kicks versus Kick Karam. Yeah, then you know Sugar Kicks gonna win, and then he did. And then Phil and Wizard then Phil versus Menno. I feel like that's probably the hardest one. Yeah. From from being two, mm-hmm. but then I would put Phil because of how far he's been going on all these events, and then he won too. So I feel like it's actually pretty even. Like you know, I it's would, almost like you know, like the top four versus the bottom four. I would say either Phil Wizard or Menno should have been moved to Mighty Jim or Lightning. And um, I guess my question is, if it went from Red Robin, oh, I to, see what you mean. To top eight, round Robin. How did they decide, or yeah, round robin? How did it decide the next bracket, like the top eight bracket? How was that decided? Like, is it randomized or like? I'm, I'm assuming it's top four versus bottom four. It, it is not. It, yeah, it is not random, 
depending on how you get out. How, so out of the round robins, only two could advance. Okay. The, the highest score is going to go against the second highest from another group. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So let's say there's mm. group A, B, C, and D. Mm-hmm. The highest score of group A is going to go against the, the, second. the second highest of C. The highest score of B is going to go against the second highest. So there's, yeah. there's a way. You can literally strategize yeah. how you want to position your, yourself in the next round. Mm. So like I say, if I'm Vic and I'm like, okay, if I, if I score the highest, I'm going to be going against Minnow. But if I score second, second I might go against somebody like yeah, Mighty J. Like you, know, or... you could literally strategize how you want to get Wait, out But of when it, you right? say score, like on what point? Yes. Like cause... how many rounds do you want? Because if, if in round robin, you, you have three battles. Mm-hmm. Each of them are two rounds. Right. So if you were to, like, let's say, win all of them, you have six rounds, basically six points. Then you have the highest. The other person might have, the second place, they might have won two battles and lost a round. So they'd only have five points. Yeah. From their three battles. But wouldn't that you still know? defeat the purpose of like strategizing against who you want to go against? Because if you had the lowest amount of points, wouldn't you not make it out of the round robin? Well, yeah. That's why I guess it's like no, strategizing. No, 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 wait, no, but, the but, lowest of the two. But, but, but here's my thing. Here's my thing. Of the two who made it. Yeah. So the okay. two, two people get out, get out of the group. Okay. But there's a high and a low. Right. So yeah. if you score high, then most likely you're going against a lower person. But if you're strategizing to be the second highest in the group, it's still risky because you might end up actually losing and not making it out of the... But you, there, there's a system to where you know, like there's a formula. Mm-hmm. You know if you're in group B, you're going to go against... The other... That D, the, yeah. the highest of D, which for some reason could sometimes be to your advantage. Yeah. Like but, here, but, 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 but here's my problem. What's up? Phil Wizard versus Menno. Kid Karam versus Shiga Kicks, all on one side of the bracket. If, if it was switched the other way, it would look like a but that's the There's it, no but way wasn't. anyone could convince me that that is a balanced bracket. But, but imagine imagine if, let's say, Victor and Alvin had switched places with, with Shiga Kicks and Kid Karam. You'd still be like, that left side is too strong. Yeah, that, that left side, no, so, that left side would still be heavily stacked. I think the thing that should have happened is either Phil Wizard or Menno could have swapped places. One of them would have should have swapped places with, with Mighty Jim okay. and Lightning. Yeah, I, but, I get but, what you're saying. But it's based off of their score. Well, you, well so what? You, you think the, the either of these guys score. didn't place high? So that means, that, that the means either score. Lightning or Mighty Jin, Jim, one of the two were number one in their round robin. Yeah. That's what that means. One of them were number one. Which is, I guess like you wouldn't expect. Okay, exactly. okay. But, then, then, it, but right, it was, right. it's what it was. Then, then if Lightning and Mighty Jim are the first of their bracket, right? Well, let's go back to this. You know what? I'm assuming, I'm assuming... I'm assuming Maybe if it was Lightning Jim, wasn't he in the same? Or sorry, Mighty Jim, he was in the same as Menno. So that means Menno got second. All right, look, round look, look, look. Phil Wizard and Lightning were in the same bracket, so they both came out. Yeah. So Phil Wizard got number one. And Lightning so that means Mighty Jim yeah, had number one. Yeah. So Mighty so, and Jim and Menno had so, number two from so, that row. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Mighty Jim and Menno were in the same bracket. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. It's just that you wouldn't expect, like, man, it's just so good. Like you don't expect nah, him that, to not you, be hey, But one thing you got to think about, I went to, I went to Belgium in 2019. Mm. The love that they gave Mighty Jim, because he's from Belgium. Mm. And that, that crowd was going crazy for him. Like, mm. it was, so that could, uh, like, like, what was it called? Influence. That could influence, you know, the judges. Popularity. The, the energy. Who, who knows? The energy. But, but you, you, so, you so everybody to, applaud. You're like, I guess that was pretty good. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, but I, I, he's good. He's no, no, yeah, Not, not he's to great. take away. Yeah, I'm not taking away from Might, Mighty Jim or Lightning. It just adds to it. But in all honesty, I don't think these guys are as relevant in the breaking industry as, you know, any of the other competitors that was in there. They haven't made as uh, much impactful you know, memorable moments in breaking than all the other competitors that made that top eight bracket. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, say that again? So top eight bracket, Lightning and Mighty Jim aren't as big or impactful as all the rest of the competitors that made the bracket. I think and argu- and, and, arguably and, Alvin too. Well, I, I know Lightning's younger. He's but, 18. But I, He's I, don't, I, don't, think, I don't think that's relevant when there's a judging system that's... A display of your like moves. the point, like either way, like Mano got second in his group. And yeah. that's, that's I find that really hard to believe though. I actually, I, you, so you know what? I need, Jin, I, 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 a, I need to review. I need to review that battle because I haven't actually seen that one. Yeah, my but, Jin, he's a he's a crazy guy, and like the way he dances is so out there. It's so, it's like he's he knows how to like perform. Also, man, that boy Lightning is nice. No, Lightning is. Yeah, they're, they're both phenomenal yeah, dancers. Yeah, and I'm not taking it away from them. But what I'm saying is. I've seen Menno at this competition at least his top eight rounds against 
Who was it? Um, Menno versus Phil Wizard. Menno was actually... I thought Menno actually came really close to taking it. I think he may, might have taken it. I need to review it, too. But actually, I, I saw that battle, but I thought Menno, that was probably one of the best performances I've seen for Menno. Mm. Yeah, ever. but he could have messed up in a round robin. Who knows? He could have repeated a contrast, and you didn't or even know. a contrast of style. If Mighty Jin is just that much explosive than Menno, yeah. Phil, that Phil, play a Phil huge Wizard, role. yeah, I have, a, I have a problem, man. Phil Wizard, <laughs> Phil Wizard did not perform as good as I've seen him do historically, I, I think. I will say, in, in comparison yeah. to himself. Shiga Kicks didn't stick stick to his strengths. Um, I, I think saw Phil him doing... Wizard killed that that final battle. The final? That the final of him and Vic. That was mm. a good battle. You think so? I feel like, um, I feel like Vic took it pretty easily. Vic took arguably. it. Vic oh, took it. I feel like by a, a good amount though. Arguably, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think it was pretty obvious. Victor took it because I think Vic took it. I think one thing with Phil and even the commentators were saying it that uh, you know, like Phil, like he's like repeating in a sense, but like always making it different. Mm-hmm. But to me, it was just so similar. Uh, like so, instead so, of doing like let's say a signature one time, how he normally does it, he'll yeah. do it twice because it goes into windmill. But it's kind of like, bro, it's the same thing. So so so, look, I mean? so 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 I see what you're saying. So yeah. so I so that was my gripe with uh, Phil Wizard. Uh, I thought Mino did okay. Alvin, it was it was obvious Victor was gonna take it. Sugar kicks. He was kind of disappointing. Really? I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah, from what he disappointed. He was trying to do top rock and footwork. I'm like, bro, how come you're not sticking to your strengths? Yeah. Like, he literally did not stick to his strengths this whole competition. I'm not going to lie. Hey, no shade to you, Shiga Kicks, but that was not what I expected from Shiga Kicks. Yeah, I see. I see. Like, that maybe he was trying something new, man. And then um, what I'll say about, like, Lightning and what I'll say about the right side of the bracket, the one with Victor, none of the other con- dancers were as consistent as Victor. So it was an obvious Victor's going to go all the way to the final. That's, that's what Consistency, he's I think, for, on that right side consistent. was com- completely lacking. I ain't going like, to lie. It just seemed like that for that whole bracket, Victor was just comfortable. And, like, like I'm looking at the battles, and it's like, this is not even, like, a sweat for Victor. Like, he's convincingly taking the rounds. Yeah. But, and, but, the, but why? He's not dancing differently than he would dance. He's not, but that, but that's, that, but that's why good. I think. But that's yeah, it's he a is pairing. Good. It's a pairing. But that's what I'm saying. It's like we want, like you want to see, like it's typically like you know when you watch like a movie or a game, the guy that you know that's already the best. You want to see a new upcoming warrior for the people's hero, or whatever to get behind. Victor is literally that guy, and it's like I think when Pierre is talking about in terms of the bracket. We want to see Victor go against like the other big heads, like Minno, Shiggy Kicks, and not people that you know. Because I didn't really know any of those people. I know I'm not not as heavy into the breaking scene as y'all is, so y'all probably know those names and they're probably heavy hitters. But it's like I want to see Victor go against Minno because this is someone that's one Red Bull, another person's won three Red Bulls, and you got Shiggy Kicks that's won a Red Bull. I want to see the biggest, you know what I'm saying? But then it's like we don't get to see any of that. We see Victor take out these names, and then you only see him go against another big head like Phil Wizard. And we miss all like these hype battles that could have possibly been a thing, you know. I think like in the sense of like the the names that we know, yes, you would assume that instead of Lightning or Mighty Jin, it would have been Menno as one of them, and then he would, and then Men, it would have been Menno and Vic in the semis. You'd expect like if you're just by knowing the names, but the thing is, that's how the points went. That's how the judges called it. Yeah. So in terms of like actual score, it was fair. Yeah. All right. And and then I, one thing I would say is, it's kind of because I've. People, there's been times where I go, like I do a jam and I'll win. Mm-hmm. And then people be like, oh, that was easy for you. But I'm like, nah, it's not easy. The thing is, I still have to perform at 100. It don't matter who I'm going against. It could be a kid, it could be anything. I'm, I'm still, I have to still perform at 100. It's not like I'm uh, doing less. Doing less because of the person in front of me. Mm, so I've, with Vic, there's somebody <laughs> in front of him, he still has to go all out. I That's th- what I'm saying. I, there's I, no sure. different from what I th- he's doing. I think doing. Vic's biggest challenge on his side of the bracket was lightning. Yes. Lightning is, is, is nice. Well, yeah, the only reason why good. lightning lost was because of his inconsistency, but I would say his round one and round two arguably could have beaten Victor's. It went to round three? Yeah. Mm. And he lost round three only because he crashed. They, they gave it a, qu- a clean sweep for Victor oh. just because of the crash, but... Well, you don't know if it was just because of the crash. Oh, I know it was. Remember, it's a judging system. No, I know it's a crash. <laughs> execution. They probably, probably got that adopted for execution. I, I mean, I didn't see the battle, so I'm just saying. I'm going to say it's the crash. Because most <laughs> time, when they see you crash, they just, oh, he, you lost. Uh, I'm, uh, not, I'm it, not even going to pay attention. And that's to another thing. Like, is that a universal thought for most judges that if someone crashes in a round and the other person does really good, it's usually like a convincing win, right? Like, I think so. It, it, for the I don't most think part, so. For the most part. For the most part. Yeah, what are sure. some of those Russian B-boys? 
like is the difficulty in like what they do. Like picture well, uh, you Gronk, the but but like let's let's look at Gronk. Like he does the hardest things that you know is impossible what he's doing. But um, if he if someone like him crashes doing extremely high difficulty moves versus someone doing six step and then they like yeah. oh slip, like that person doing six step should honestly lose more points than um, someone like Grom who's doing like high level difficulty moves. No, mm. I agree with you. I just don't think that's what people think though. Yeah, but I, I don't think that's how they're going to grade it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It, it, the crash, crashing has just such a big, yeah. like, big it, factor. It's like they, it's just, their, their minds go blank. Oh, oh, I can't see anymore. You lost. That's, <laughs> but yeah, that's but, pretty much you know, it. And it's, and it's interesting because execution has never been a thing in the early stages of breaking. You know, yep. you try moves and mm -hmm. you see what sticks, what lands, mm -hmm. what really gets the crowd hype. So yeah. having a judge having to be used against us on the judging. I mean, which yeah. it's needed. I, I don't think anybody should just throw their body. Which is why I was also kind of disappointed that Shiggy Kicks did not. Because he was he was executing more in the bronze uh, battle versus like the Man. battle prior. I was like, what the heck? I was like, why I'll wasn't say, he doing this a battle prior? I'm with you, Thomas, because like, look, this is what I'm saying. It looked like. Some some is a little fishy. No with, man, y'all like I'm everybody saying, has an eight. No, no, okay, no. I'm eight. saying if Jeffrey, if you go and watch the battle before he battles against who did he go? For, who did he battle against for the bronze? Um, if you watch the battle before the bronze, it was not the same performance. Like the bronze, he had put in more energy for third place than he did the battle but, prior. But, but you gotta you gotta you gotta look at all the areas of being an athlete. One, he could forget. Two, he could like, be hurt. He could. Anything. He could be gassed. Well, we know he wasn't hurt. Cause lightning. <laughs> it was like going backwards. But, but, so, you, so, but so, you don't know. So it was Sugar Kicks versus Lightning. Yeah. Sugar Kicks versus Lightning. Uh, and that battle was crazy. That battle was just it. crazy. That could have been a... I'm telling you. That battle could have been a final battle. No one could tell me. Like, like, look, Sugar Kicks easily pulls out the water for a lot of other competitors. Because due to his consistency, he's probably the most consistent person on this list. He did not exemplify that at all during this competition. More consistent than Victor, though? Yeah. I'd say yeah, that. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I think so. They're, they're, they're pretty even, but I'd say... I don't, they're both really with, consistent. Like, like he's more, way more consistency a specialty with difficulty moves. Like you, I agree with no that. no one can take that but away. I, was, I, would, I, would, I would say that. Well, well think about consistent. it. How many times do you see um, Sugar Kicks crash? I mean, he don't. Yeah. But. You see, well, you see seen Victor mess up. You yeah, but when do you, yeah, when do you really see Victor crash? Yeah. Uh, you've seen it sometimes, not crash, but you see him like... Oh, I got to tap in order to like do this. But or, I've like, seen Shiggy Kicks do that or, too. Or I'm dragging my leg to do this. I've seen Shiggy Kicks do that. But less, sure. less, less frequently than you've seen Victor. They're, do they're it. close. I, they're, they're both. They're both yeah. consistent. Yeah. I, I can for sure say I've never seen either one of them crash. Yeah, I can. In, re in recent performances, yeah. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen either one of them crash. All right, either. all right, all right, all right. Best B girl. Um, what do y'all think? Um, Actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna talk um, about. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk, talk about this bracket, and, you know, we can go outside of the bracket. <clears throat> but uh, the top A bracket for the Belgian uh, WDSF was... Belgium. Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> With an M. <laughs> hey, man, I need you to bleep him, man. I need you to bleep him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it only... I say like to me? Is it like... Everybody. Hey, chill, bro. Hey, you gotta get us get, demonetized. Yeah, for real. Relax. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, no. So, so it's uh, our Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> but we got Stephanie, Ayumi, Kate, Auntie, Ayumi, uh, Logistic, Nika, Sissy, Six Seven One, and then obviously you like Ami. If I were to pick one, I'd probably pick. Wait, Same. Ami was in the bracket. Oh, <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that with your tongue? You got the <laughs> sound. <laughs> wait, 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 Pierre, was, was Ami What's in the wrong with him? Ami was in the It seems like not I'm not talking. A, not <laughs> you. Oh. Wait, so say the uh, bracket one more time. All right, so we got Stephanie, Ayumi, Kate, Auntie, uh, Logistic, Nika, and Sissy, and 671. Nika is the one on one, right? What'd you yeah. say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are you saying? Dang it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you ain't bleep that, Joel. You One gotta piece? catch it. I know. You gotta catch it. Wait, who's your, who's your pick? Nika. Oh, God. I was nah, like... No, nah, man. No, nah, but I, I, you mean she's... I mean, maybe, I mean I'm biased, of course. I, but I think the vocabulary is just like it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy. I like, th you know who shocked me? Sissy. Sissy's mm. good. She but, shocked me. She did really good this... I, I will say, though, like, if we... like. 
I know, like, not to, like, really count age, but Nika is, like, crazy. Especially. I, I love Nika. Especially when you do consider her age. Nah, mm. she's and, and she won. How old is she? I think she's 16. She can't be that old. What? If, yeah. I'm, if I'm, I could be wrong, but I remember well, watching the gym. I remember yeah. hearing well, don't that. Don't you have to be 18 to compete, like, next I, year? I, I think you have to at least be 18 by next year. So or, she's or probably during 17 the year. or something. She could be well, turning 16 Well, six, 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 seven, one. She's, like, 16, too, right? Yeah, but I think, like, so, at least with Nika, though, like, She's got power. She's like super well rounded, mm. and she like does have like battle tactics, <clears throat> yeah. which I feel like a lot, a lot of a lot of but, people but, don't. But who like what B girls out there creating moves and steps? That's the thing. I think Ayumi, Ayumi does a great Ayumi job Ayumi of that. Sure. Ayumi definitely, yeah, like, for sure, like, for creativity. For, for yeah. you to be because like you know I'm a fan of Nika. I'm a fan of Sissy. Six seven but, one. Uh, logistics. Logistics good, but Stephanie. but I don't think people okay. are creating as much as Ayumi. That's true. Ayumi is creating. Like, yeah, Ayumi, she's, creating. she's, she's like, way ahead of the game. Every every step she does is a, there's a purpose. There's no fillers. It's just content. Yeah, it's content, crazy. content, content. Mm. Sometimes you kind of feel like steps, power. It's crazy. And, and, and from from that spectrum, I feel like sometimes the B girls overshadow the the B boys tremendously. Oh yeah, we we um, we just recycled. <laughs> we're just we're just recycled, recycled things. garbage. We are. <laughs> we're already. We're beat. trash. We're <laughs> yeah, no, you don't see a lot of guys creating. That's what that's what sucks. To be honest, I'd rather watch a, a B girl battle than B boy than B boys get down because I just feel like a lot of it is just one point fives and yeah and and what you I don't know it doesn't seem fun. One point five and uh, turtle or baby freak. True, y'all know B girls have the better freezes out of B boys. Well, no, I'm not nah. probably not because here's the nah. thing though. The only person I can say is Alcalio. Akali is the only person that well, I mean, top rated freezes. No, but but I will say well, like, well, like just like in a general sense, like stereotypically, a lot of B-girl freezes are either from a bridge or from like a chair. Like oh, it, like, that's I, messy. I see that a lot. Y'all know he no. said it. He said he it. He said it. Not I. No, cancel okay. him. Right. Cancel. Yeah, yeah. His name is Joel Aguilera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but, <laughs> no, but but but, no, if but we're talking about freezes, be doing like oh, we heard hollow you, backs. You can stop. They be doing hollow backs. Yeah. They have way more flexible freezes. Tell, B boys. Tell me. Tell All me right. how many times have you seen this from B boys? You do that freeze <laughs> and this <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm whack. <laughs> Wait, what? That's like no. that's like your freeze. I'm whack. You're no, it's just I don't know. No, All right, are y'all yeah. more entertained? No, by t- watching, wait, like, pause. Tell me B-boys? I'm wrong. What? T- you're, you're, yeah, you're there's wrong. not a lot of bridge moves. Bridge moves? Like, I think a lot of B-Bros do bridges and whatnot. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> Jeffrey, I let Jeffrey decide. What, what do you, what's your take on it? What's, <laughs> giving you that serious stare? <laughs> we need to know. I gotta say nothing. I already told y'all, this man needs to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. All right, look, I'm not coming for all V girls or anything. I'm just saying. No, nah, we know like, where you at. If, if I know where like you, you know, <laughs> you see, uh, I see a lot more bridge <laughs> poses than I do no, with no. other with V boys. Nah, but who? <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. Yeah, I just cursed. <laughs> <up>. Like, <laughs> what? 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 Oh no! What? Nah, but um, B girls. Have hollow backs. <laughs> what? No, they no. have everything. <laughs> Where are we going to name no, I'm just saying. <laughs> get this guy out of here. I mean, they have. <laughs> yeah, let me get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like, all right. So what? they are obviously they do more bridges, right? I think they utilize their full body more than the dudes do. I think I brought it up because you're saying because you're, you're saying that B-girls have more freezes than B-boys. Better freezes. Better. Yeah, better freezes than B-boys. But I say no. You, you disagree? Yes. Why? Why? Cause there's an alcohol out there doing some crazy <laughs> freezes. He's the only person. But I'm saying in a general sense, like who who's who's, who's really who's got pushing like the best the Who's got like <laughs> who's the, who's, the needles? Who's, yeah. Who's got like the most creative freezes? It would be alcohol. 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 Sure. Like, let's try to name there's more. There's a flexible b boy out there. Oh, for sure. Wait, uh, Nor Diamond. I'd say, say Nor Diamond. Some Russian b boy out yes. there. <laughs> some some Russian b boy. Oh, They're like oh, the oh. best. Hong Tin had some good freezes um, in his prime. That's yeah. true. Costo. That's true. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually like I actually like Costos freezes. Yeah, uh, no, or, or that the flexible b boy um, Isaiah. He, Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that Isaiah freeze that he hit at freezes. the either that freeze was crazy. Yeah, but I'm but so so what I'm spe- so we're speaking more on uh, individual like talent. But 
Or we're talking about as a collective. Yeah, collectively, well, I think B girls overall have better so freezes than B boys. Name some B girls that have like really good freezes. Yeah, I can't. Um, oh, what's, that was too fast. Uh, no, oh. I, 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 oh. I, I, get out. Get out. I was, I was, I was, I was I thinking to myself. I literally go I name was, a B girl who I can't. I can't. Well, I think okay. I, I think, I think B girl B girl freezes are more general because they it's like I would say cancel like, him. No, <laughs> no, no, but what I will say about B girl freezes. They do add their own style to the freeze. Like, let's say if it's a baby freeze, yeah. they'll put their head on the hip like that. They'll do stuff where they'll add the accent to it. They'll lift that toe up just That's to make true. add my that toe. personality. My toe. That, you my know, it's, it's these nail. little things that B-Boys, <laughs> a lot of times we overlook because they think we're just focused on the move instead of the style of how things look, mm. the overall picture. So... I think that's where B girl progress over guys. That's true. It's nah, but I, I look. I, all right. So in terms of B girls, right? Um, what was the girl that went against Maka? Um, in that one battle, she did the hollow back. Oh, was... um, Roxy. 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 Roxy's really good freezes. Mm-hmm. Um, solid. I'd say. Um, <clears throat> Man, any other B girl? Like, yeah, like, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> man, y'all know, man. No, nah, man, I'm get, saying, this, get this. Get this. <laughs> I'm saying that. No, nah, but I, I do. I do think the style. They add a lot of style to their freezes. All right. I, I guess going back, but Ayumi definitely Ayumi. has a lot of style. Yeah, I think. I just think that more guys do like turtle and baby freezes, and B girls they use like way more sophisticated freezes, like Hollaback. I think that's higher level. Mm. All right, we're done with the with the freezes. All right, but who's the finest B girl? Tom. Um, no boy. Why G-Lu. are you crying? What? What? what Why are you crying? Heat? <laughs> we really answering that? G Lu. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> All right, do we have uh, police sirens <laughs> with his arms crossed? <laughs> Just, oh, big boss. Wait, you he asked the damn question. I can hear the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you said Ami. You, you said yesterday. You said the finest speaker. Yeah, yeah. Like looks like. Right. What, what are we talking about this? Yeah, <laughs> he said. <laughs> I was talking about this. You said, I said the best B girl is Ami. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Some, someone's talking about you. All right, who's the fu- <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move yeah. on. Yeah. All right. All right, who's the finest B boy? Who's the finest? <laughs> it ain't you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, all right, what if so I identified as a B girl and I entered the? Hey, so that'd be crazy. That would be crazy. Like, what, what if I lost? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you would. If I, I would. It's like Jeffro like, versus Ayumi. He's like, oh, oh man, I would. I would. He's be like, like, <laughs> hey, just in case you don't edit that out, D Tech, like I love for you, my boy, but you but he got love for you, girl. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I'm just saying. <laughs> you, you, Shots fired. You, hey, man. Hey, you got the best. You got the best looking B girl, man. Oh man. Hey, okay, okay. No, nah, that's a compliment. That's a compliment. Yeah, that's a compliment. You know, yeah. All right. So, um, where do you stand, Jeff, in terms of points? That's kind of like what I want to try and figure out. I don't even know. WDSL. Hey, we need a button that goes wah wah or pom 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 pom. I would ask my questions. No, I haven't even. I, haven't, I, I still have questions. Oh, no, I'm still impressed. I'm still impressed. I'm going to ask my questions. <laughs> no, but where do you stand in terms of points? Because I know you're like number one in the U.S. Um, and is, is that still the case right now? Yeah, yeah. No, that's still the case uh, as far as points. Even though Victor, but Victor is ahead because he got into the Olympics. So basically, that's the overall goal. The, wait, wait. What's the point of having points then? Uh, like get, like all get, the all the higher earning to points? get into trials and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> no, the, but, point, the no, points but, are like, basically to get into trials. But if you could bypass trials, yeah, then they ain't no reason for having. Wait, yeah, what, this is, okay, like wait, what's what, the point what, of that? What, what are because, trials? Because I mean, mean, what are the chances that that with all the events like pe- like I don't know like what like I think the chances of Jeff and Victor are there enough? Are there even enough events where both of y'all could have earned your spot without points? Uh, no, only one only one breaker per country per year. So then, that's why points are there because no, the but no, that still make no sense because like the, the points should the be thing. yeah, the points should be reserved for the people who qualify for the Olympic. Like, why would I want to earn points to get into the trials instead so, of being but, first but, place, but, like to get into the Olympic? But but there is conversations to where the point will help you as far as your standings in the Olympics. So even if even if I get directly into the Olympics, maybe because of my points, I might get seated the harder bracket. 
Mm-hmm. So, but that's speculation. Like, I don't know. I don't know if this which is true. Would, which, like, makes it kind of dumb because they haven't established, like, well, it, it's not that they haven't established. There isn't enough to establish how important of a factor it is to have points if you just get invited to something like Belgium. Yeah. And then, like, you all you have to do is, like, be a finalist of, like, a national event to go to that invitational and then get your guaranteed spot in the Olympics. So I looked at it and, like, <clears throat> all the competitors from all the other countries, pretty much the highest point earners had went to Belgium. Why didn't all the other high-performing, like, athletes from the U.S. get directly placed into Belgium? I, I, I think it's... Um, I think every country have their way of delegating who's going to be in these world finals or these world championships. I just think the U.S. decided to do it this way. That makes no sense. Mm. When Because I feel like they just kept pushing the needle to say, like, hey, we're going to push the goalposts. Let's say last year. Uh, you have to you know, attend some of these events in order to qualify. You do all these events, you have high placing points, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, yeah. Um, okay, it doesn't matter no, last year. year. Last year sucked. Was it last year when I did a feast? Yeah, last year? Yeah. Man, I did one of the first World Series events uh, yeah. in France, and that was supposed to be 1,000 points, and I won, and me and, Gra- and Gravity got second place, and they didn't give us the whole 1,000. They gave us, like, Maybe 300 points. That's so crazy. It was crazy. something crazy. I'm like, wait, what? That's what I'm I talking about. What, but then what, what, was the, what was the explanation for that? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. It, it kept changing. I know it was kind of early on. Like, said, I think everybody was still trying to figure things out about how this pathway will kind of unfold. But hmm. uh, well, you said for somebody else, what happened? Uh, for for Grav, he got lower. I, I don't know what his points. He's probably got 200 something. But... That, that, that's what happened. They were like, oh, well, we decided to change. I don't know why they decided to change. We try to combat it uh, with, with, uh, U- uh, with, with Breaking for Gold USA. We try, mm-hmm. to, we try to, like, fight it, but they still stuck to their... So is this a Breaking for Gold um, orchestrated event, or is this uh, WDSF? Same. WDSF, Breaking, uh, for, Breaking Gold, for Gold World Series. Hey, so, that's some... But the thing is, Breaking for Gold USA is not the same as Breaking for Gold right. as a whole. So, uh, so, like, so we try to combat it. I don't know who we. I don't know. I talked. To, I talked to some of the Breaking for Gold people about it, and I think they said they're going to talk to either WDSF or. But anyways, they decided to keep it the same, and then they find out they. I don't know if they put this rule in or I don't know what happened, but later on they were like, okay, those points are expired because. So you didn't get any any. So those points eventually went away. So it's, it's almost like as if I didn't do <laughs> wow that event. Like, I didn't do the hardest of it. <laughs> yeah, because the they had, like, two round robins, right? That was the hardest breaking for... Well, That's crazy. And the reason why it was is because it was hot. It was in the summer. Outside. It was oh, in the no. summer outside. There was no shade. Where literally the floor was steaming. Like, it was burning. Like, you put your hand down for footwork, you're done. Dang, <laughs> like, it's the dang. burn. I remember having the little, the little air pockets. Oh, in my like no Yeah, blisters. Yeah. Dang. So, we literally did that. So, there's prelims. We had prelims. And there was almost over... Over 200 B-Boys for sure that entered. Damn. Uh, because we did prelim to top 128, <laughs> which is crazy. That's and crazy. After we, so bracket, we started bracket at 128. So 128 bracket to 64. But then there was a lucky loser or something. So some people got back in, whoever lost. Mm-hmm. And then we did bracket again to 32. And then from 32, we did a round robin. Oh my god! And then after that, we got top sixteen, and then from top sixteen, we did another round robin. Yeah, that's you're kidding. And then top eight, and then they was, said these points expired. And then these points expired. Wow. And you don't understand. We did like over twenty rounds, like in one day. No, not in one day. Two no, days. We broke it down. We broke Wait, it down. So, even, so, even then, so so if you had but a it was, thousand, it was points. too long because there's so many competitors, and we got to do b boys, b girls too. Oh, it was where, not just yeah. b boys. Where, where was the jam at? This was in Montpellier, France. Oh, dang. That's wait, wait. Crazy. So, so if if you had a thousand points, where would you be right now? I had a thousand points. Well, you're still like, at least in points. You're leading, right? No, but he, no, no. I, w- I, I, would, I sure, think in the world, for, for sure, for sure, in in the world, I'm you, you would four. probably be leading. I'm four. Uh, four. I'm right four. Now. I'm four. So uh, probably, probably, probably three. Because the thing is, Phil Wizard still won consistent. So I think mm. we, so we take the four, your four highest points. Mm-hmm. Okay. So right now I got, uh, there's others that I won, but they weren't as, as, as high on the World Series. Mm. Yeah. So as far as World Series, I got a second place. I got a second place. I got a fourth 
and I got a, a seventh. So if I take away the seventh, that'll be a first, Dang. a fourth, and a second, and a second. Dang. So That's that would crazy. already bypass Danny. Uh, oh, man. That's like, crazy. Like, it's, it's just crazy because that was a tough one. That was a tough event. It was just, it was just. Yeah. So, do you feel like that's body. that's that was the only time they probably gypped you out of points, or did it happen again? Yeah, I would say that was the only time. But in terms of like leading, that's with, a lot of points for sure. But in terms of like leading with points, like even like all right, let's say you got that thousand. Okay, now you're third in the world. What would that change for you, as opposed to like your journey to become on the Olympic team for USA? You'd be the same place, right? Uh, well, again, it, it, the points if it, if it translates to the Olympics, then I'll have a better seating. Mm, oh yeah. When going to the Olympics, but, but in terms even, of getting even, into the Olympics, but even events before, even ev- events before, I would be positioned in a better position. Uh, that's true. Mm. Uh, so let's say, for example, so that for, fourth could have been a, a one. That for, second could have. For you know. Japan, I had a hard bracket. For Japan, okay, the Kishu. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, it looked pretty and, difficult. And yeah. you got second on that one, right? And I got second. Dang. But hey, give a round of applause. I had to man. throw out a lot for for that one. For that one, but. Hey, that jam was nice though to watch. Home. We're hey. watching that jam all together. Well, that's yeah. when I got that cut. That's when I cut off the top. Everybody, my head was looking weird. Yeah. <laughs> that's not looking funny. Hey man, hey, that shout, shout that out to, felt weird. Shout <laughs> out to uh, Katsu One, man, because I think he he organized the whole thing. So mm. that boy Katsu. Hey, give a quick cheer to Katsu, man. Quick cheer, you know. Shout out, man. Yes, yes. So sponsorships and money. How do we make money out of this breaking stuff, man? And uh, what type of sponsorships in the space? What do y'all think? You're definitely seeing more. Yeah. Just in general. Um, I feel like Phil gets a lot of sponsors. Yeah, I saw like the one with Toyota. Before. Yeah. And there wasn't, and Lululemon. Yeah. Yeah. Who else I, got sponsorships? Like I mean, public, public sure outside of the country, yeah. <laughs> Everybody. Dang. Yeah. Everybody leading. It's probably yeah. all U.S. companies. It, it, it does seem like U.S. is definitely slow. Yeah, for sure. But it's like the U.S. companies are sponsoring people overseas. Uh, well, like what? What do you mean? Like, let's say, like, I, I think Nike, for instance, because they were doing the or thing. Like, at, let's say Toyota. Where, what, no, Toyota's not. What is Toyota? Uh, that's yeah, Japan. Japan. Okay. But, but the thing is, Nike, let's say. Um, yeah, they, 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 sponsor, so they, they sponsor Birmingham World Games, right? Mm. But still, I don't know a B-boy in the U.S. that's sponsored by Nike. Is there anyone sponsored uh, by Nike right now? Logistics. The only person right now? To my knowledge, yes. Yeah. Wasn't I thought wasn't Jilu sponsored by Nike? Well, she's, she's from Germany. I've she's seen Nike her on Germany. She's sponsored by Nike Germany. Oh, That's, you yeah. see, but man, it's it's because you got to look at the the market. Like breaking is bigger in these other countries. Why would I invest in something that that's nothing over in, here in the United you know? States? Like let's say if if Fit Break was blowing up, for example, in China. I'm going to go ahead and sponsor somebody in China yeah. if yeah. it's not blown up over Bigger here. market. Mm-hmm. You know, it depends on, you know, it's a, it's a business move. It's a money move. So, so, like, in terms of, like, I guess, virality, breaking is on a low standpoint and in USA compared to other countries. Oh, yeah, for, for sure. sure. I remember I went to, when I went to France, uh, I went to the park. Me and Gravity went to the park, and there was kids breaking in the park, which is crazy, like, random. Like, like as if kids. they were playing soccer. Yes, like, like it was normal. Dang. I'm like... That's wild. Yeah. That is wild. Mm. If we had something like that, uh-uh. Maybe. Like, I, I can't even see That's that. That's a goal. Like, instead of playing that. basketball, you see kids playing or, or just, breaking. Do, just breaking. Yeah. yeah. Instead That's of alternative. playing basketball and soccer. Yeah. And it seems like, I mean, that's, I think it sounds like that's what it used to be like back in the 80s. Mm. Yeah. That everybody was just breaking in wherever you look, you know? That's great. That's I feel like that's how it's talked about. And yeah. Yeah, I wish I could picture that. Yeah, for real. Yeah. You cannot. So... Not yet. Um, Hopefully, so, it changes. Not yet. Yes. So, so is it really possible to like actually make a living off of this stuff with breaking? Absolutely. If, so? at, at least in the U.S., just strictly only breaking with sponsorships and. Absolutely. Deals. Yeah. I think I think it's uh, how you position yourself, of course, and then what are you doing with those with those opportunities? Because you could one just take all that for yourself. For example, let's let's bring up Moy. Moy, he had the opportunity, he was approached by Monster, or he created that partnership. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But instead of him taking the total, he decided to break it up amongst a couple of athletes so right. that we could, mm-hmm. they could, he could build up the program. Right. So, and then because of that, it makes him look, you know, that much valuable. So he is that much valuable. 
Yeah. Uh, and then this program will build and build and build. Uh, well, it's like instead of him like keeping it all to himself, he branched yeah. off more mm-hmm. to give a little back. More and eventually, it comes back to him. You know. Yeah. yeah. So. True stuff. So it, it's it's crazy how you position yourself and what you do with these opportunities. So are, are, are we able to ask you how many sponsorships you have for? Are uh, you able to say that publicly? No. No, I could. I, I have three, three sponsors. Okay. Um, Monster being the biggest one, of course. Yeah. But then there's there's a couple more in the works right now. So. Okay. Uh, but again, it's much. It's it's about leveraging your situation. And for us, I'm I'm even lucky to be in this situation. Uh, this position mm. because a lot of people don't have the opportunities that I'm yeah. experiencing but over overseas there is there, there's a lot of these opportunities but boy got some accomplishments under his belt man yeah. sponsorships um, especially what he's done with the Olympics and stuff like that that's crazy but, but, that, but, that's, but that's the leveraging like that's the point that's the that, that's, that's part of the leverage is where breaking is going yeah. and trying to convince these corporations why you should invest in breaking because not only is this happening these other doors, these other opportunities. Mm-hmm. Instead of being a backup dancer, you could be the the, the lead artist. Mm-hmm. Instead of being, yeah, uh, uh, just an instructor, you could be a coach. Mm-hmm. Y'all had, y'all you had your own s- things, and you had your own section at the fifth fiftieth um, hip hop anniversary. Yeah, right? no, that was, these opportunities come up, and today, I mean, this year has just been a crazy year for breaking and hip hop in general. So yeah, because I because I seen uh, some of the footage and stuff like that, and I saw people like, let's say Lil Wayne. He was Common. performing. Common. Uh, like when Omarion came up to us and found us. He was like, hey, respect everything y'all do. All that. And it was crazy because hey. I remember, I'm like, Dave, we used to watch you on TV. For real. Just, yeah. just, <laughs> That's really crazy. you over here showing us respect. It's not like, like we're looking for him. He came up to us, turned yeah. around, tapped me. Hey, I was looking for him. I just want to say what's up. Res- much respect to y'all. I was at a point, I was like, wait, he really, That's You're crazy. like, bro. I'm like, like no, I'm like, respect yeah. to you. Much yeah. respect to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, no, it was cool. It was how did, cool it, how did it feel like being amongst other, like, celebrities? Do you feel like, do you feel like you would have been more starstruck if you didn't have that much to your name versus, like, being there, like, as a performer? Let's say, for example, like, if we're on Inertia and you went to go perform there mm-hmm. and, like, instead of, like, being a sponsored B-Boy or whatever, do you feel like you would have been starstruck or you feel like you would have had the same mentality, like, I, being around them? I feel like, I mean, my name doesn't hold any weight, really, realistically. Mm. Like, the breaking scene is, like, this small. These people will never know who I am through breaking. That's just, that's just the facts of things. Yeah. It's, it's kind of centering yourself and understanding that these people are just human beings. Like, they have problems, maybe even more problems than we have. Yep. Uh, they, they're just trying to stay low-key and, you know, and just enjoy life. Mm-hmm. But just being in that moment and just being, I don't know, just being there. Talking to them is just like they're human. So, I mean, Rad has a lot of things going on, you know. So, we have things like Kalu Entertainment, The Hot Pot, of course, Fit Break, Mezclada. So, speaking on some of the stuff that both of you guys are doing, um, what's it like, you know, running Fit Break? What's it like uh, hosting Mezclada and that dance company? And, and am I saying it right? Uh, I, you got to correct me. You gotta, yeah, you got to correct it's me. It's Mezclada. Okay. I can't say with the accent. That's all yeah. you changed. All right. Miss Clada. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. much. But you had it, even if you said Miss Clada. Miss Clada. The, the yeah. RD is fine. Yeah. You know? Hey, you. But you, you, you Miss yeah. Clada. <laughs> Miss Clada. Miss Clada. Yeah. Yeah. But so what do you, what, what, what is your question though exactly? Um, just a quick thing. Uh, just what's it like running some of the, these things? Um, you know, you're, you're running your own dance company. Um, yeah. I mean, it's definitely something that came like, I think from, just like I think, like with a lot of breakers, there's a lot of entrepreneurship, like like mentality. I think like with breaking, you know, like you learn foundation, and you got to make your own thing. I think that kind of applied to all of us when thinking about everybody with Rad. Is like we all we all came from breaking, and we all took it. We're like, how can I flip it my way into something that I can end up being a career out of it? So yeah, that's one thing that I'm doing with Miss Glada Dance Company. Is uh, we're doing more of a performative like fine arts field. So we perform a lot around Houston, and then we teach a lot. So that's one thing that we do a lot of offers is like uh, community outreach. So we offer a lot of free classes. We're partnering up with Houston Ballet right now. So we're teaching classes mm. in school, Dope. like HISD public schools for free to like all students. And then we're just working on like different uh, evening length concerts. So, so how, do, how do someone um, try out for your company? Uh, it's, it's an idea. <laughs> right now it's more like we're just picking the people who we, yeah. you know, who's been around. 
that yeah. we've been working with. But it's definitely, we're, we're, I feel like I'm getting a lot more requests for that. Mm-hmm. So it's something that I've been thinking a lot about a lot more recently is like opening it up. Yeah. Because it sounds like there's a lot of interest there. But yeah. I think it's just kind of like making sure that we have enough projects to give people enough work to like really be a part of it. So I think it's, it's definitely heading that way. Um, got a, like a lot of grants that we're waiting for. So our, our next show actually is, is supposed to be centered around breaking. Because our okay. first one was like a, like a fusion. We do like breaking plus contemporary plus Latin jazz. And we yeah. like throw a lot of aspects in it. But this next one will definitely be more like breaking centered. And where will it be? Your Houston, next show? for sure. Um, yeah. Jones Hall or? Probably the match. The match, all yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Bet. What day? But, we're, we're hoping for May 2nd, Bet. 2024. But, but, but piggybacking off of uh, what you said earlier about like breaking being the foundation of everything we do, it's crazy because breaking is like the prerequisite of, of life, really. If, if anything you're doing, like we had to be in a garage or whatever spot we've been training at by ourselves, creating out, like out of thin air, mm-hmm. just, just yeah. in there. There's a lot of discipline. There's a lot of, you know, overcoming. There's a lot of being able to, to innovate. So all of these things that, that you need in a business, that you need in a business, you need in a business, everybody here needs in a business. Mm-hmm. It's all the prerequisites. Creativity. Creativity. Like Teamwork. We have to create our own market in a sense. Like, mm-hmm. like we, we, we found a way to, to get out of the current competition and create our own lane and create our own mm, yeah. uh, market. And so sp- it's just crazy. So, so speak to us on uh, Fitbreak. What's it like doing that? You just had the collaboration with the Fitness Expo. Yeah. And um, I think Fitbreak, Fitbreak is taking a lot of traction right now. So what's it like kind of running that? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's interesting because there's a lot of every company have their own problems. And with your problems, you know, there's always a solution. And I think our biggest solution is education. Uh, and what I mean by that is the fitness space, we're trying to get into the fitness space. Yeah. And the fitness space, I mean, there's your traditional exercises and then the fit break being something that's not traditional. It takes a lot of educating mm. because a lot of people are discouraged by, let's say, the breaking like movement. So, so right. they're like, oh, it's too hard. They're intimidated. So I have to educate them on breaking and then they have to try it out first. And then they're like, oh, dang, I could do it. It's not even that hard. There's low impact modifications mm-hmm. for anything. So it's like educating people on what breaking and fit break is. <clears throat> so with the Olympics and everything, that's going to help out a lot for sure. Yeah, um, definitely. But, but these are the things that I'm talking about. It's like you create your own lane. So within the fitness industry, we have our, our own lane. There, there's not many people doing fitness breaking. Yeah. If they are, it's like small. It's small. You want to be the first. You want to be or like the grassroots. I feel like a lot of it, like the, the little I've seen, is like more breaking focus. It's for mm-hmm. breakers. Exactly. Right. You know? Yeah. Opposed to fit break, which is more for the general public, the gym goers. And, you know, it's just, again, the breaking scene is so small. Yeah. So I don't tap, I'm not trying to tap into the breaking scene. I'm trying to blow it up to the mainstream world. Mm. So, yeah. So, so how can, how can someone kind of get in touch with getting into some of your classes? Uh, website. It, it, through even, even the remote classes too. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is on the website. So whether you, uh, if you're on, on IG, you just look up Fitbreak Gym or type in Fitbreak Workout in your browser and everything is there. All our services, all of our products. Uh, and the beautiful part about this is like we're all a part of Fitbreak. We're all a part of Hot <laughs> Pod. We're all a part yeah, of Mescalada. So you up, could yeah. always hit up anybody, yeah. not even myself. Yeah. And you're gonna, you could get to Fitbreak to myself, to anybody. So yeah, that's we're, the beauty we're of it. We're definitely we super integrated with it all. Yeah. yeah. That's, where, that's where Radic comes into place. Yeah. yeah. Like everything's connected. So pretty much it's all parent. connected. We, I even had fit, uh, Jeff come in and teach a Fitbreak class this past Wednesday. Yeah. Over yeah. I saw my, yeah. my, my college course. Yeah, that was tight. So they had a lot of fun too. So it's like Rad is the parent group. And like we have all these resources under us. Like it's we have, we got Kalo Entertainment, Fit Break, Mesclada, CS there you Visuals, go. That's perfect. CS Visuals, yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, the Hot Pot. So and then everybody else on the squad are still a part of our our companies yeah. and programs. Yeah. Uh, we got Hector. Yeah, in exactly. all of it. Every, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's people integrated integrated into the like every part of our our you know our company. So man, make sure y'all check out CS Visual, man, because they got some really For like real. dope action shots. Um, for dancers and the uh, high fashion industry. So kind of as a last question, how do you feel being the only monster going into Red Bull this year? And uh, they're trying to... Man, make some noise for that. Let's go. <laughs> monster, monster B-Boy going into Red Bull this year. Yeah, I would, and, and, they ha- and they're trying to uh, make this Hong Tens last year. So 
What you got to say? Uh, are you going to stand in the way? Am I going to stand in the way? I love, I love going against the green. So, <laughs> yeah. so I don't know. They could put me up against whoever. I just want the best person. What about Mike Tyson? So, put me up against so, Mike Tyson. So, so question though, because I feel like, like at least personally, I don't feel like, because like Hong Tyson, that, man. Hong Tyson's not doing like Olympics, you know? And I don't feel like he battles that often unless it's like at Red Bull. Like yeah, I can't, yeah. like, you know? So I'm I like, I don't know. Like I think um, with a lot of breakers who are still like big today, even Vic, Menno, you know, a lot of these B-boys, when we're like in high school, they were already big. We're like, whoa, these people are crazy. Mm. Now you're at that age or not that level. You're mm-hmm. battling them. I wonder if there's like a desensitization. How do however you say that word? You like kind of feel a little more neutral when you go against them. Uh, you never gone against Hong oh, Tan. Oh, like never. Desensitized. So like, yeah, yeah, desensitized. So like, I'm thinking like, do you feel any different thinking about like going against Hong Tan since you've never, you haven't got to battle him yet? That would be like he, maybe to you, he still feels like that. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, know. for sure. This man is a legend, like, and 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 uh, and still competing. Yeah, a legend that's still competing. So. I mean, I feel like I literally want to go against people like content, people that's yeah. hey. that's made impact. Like I feel like I thrive more in these uh, these these situations. So uh, that'd be a crazy. But battle. a lot of times I hear people saying like the Red Bull stage is not meant for my style. A lot of people aren't gonna understand it, or a lot of people ain't gonna appreciate it. But that just makes me that much hungrier just to just to shut them up. So. Like, shut <laughs> <laughs> so I let Joel and uh, Thomas do the talk. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I'm super excited about it. So yeah. Can't hey wait. man, I'm excited to see that. Hey, I, think I, I can't wait. I think it's crazy that my childhood friend is literally going to be on the biggest stage of like the breaking team. Like I think that's just crazy. Like we personally now know someone that's going to be. Well, I'll speak for myself. I personally know someone that's going to be in the world finals because it's like we grew up watching the world finals. Like, yeah. Like these are the biggest exactly. breakers or whatever, and it's just like. Dang, now Jeffrey's going to go up there and represent Houston, Texas, you know, so, hey, man, hey, you, you hey, about to go on, do man. that come thing, on, man. man. Oh, man. Come on, come on, man. There's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. If you lose, don't come back. Don't come back. <laughs> I'm staying over there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I might be joining you in France, so. Hey, come through, man. Um, I got I one more ticket. <laughs> got to show that support, man, because um, yeah. I actually did Red Bull last year. No, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to join you, too. Yeah. Hey, come from, on, man. From home. From I'm home. I'll be watching, man. Hey. Somebody host a watch party for me. Hey, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, I, I would hate to lose early. Oh. Come on, <laughs> in a watch party. Yeah, yeah, we gotta show you some support. So, hey, can't wait for it. This is yes. the hot pot. Um, I don't know whatever episode this is, but make sure you check us out on YouTube and soon to be Apple, Spotify, and a whole bunch of other platforms. But like, subscribe, comment, say whatever, talk trash. Yes, do what hey. you gotta do. Hey, I had a lot of fun. Y'all know what time yeah, it is. Nah, this Dude. is great. I like the freestyles that y'all do, man. A little bit into our life. A little bit into our mind. Hey. But this will happen again, so definitely follow us up. Um, we got some more big things uh, cooking up in the book right now. We love you. But, um, yeah. Hey, one time for your boy. The hottest pot. Rad is out. Peace. I got to fight you. Yo, we done. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>